As you know, the color that we're wearing at Mass these days is purple, the color of Lent. But today, I'll be putting the purple vestments away and pulling out the white ones. Hello, Father James Kubicki here, and today we're celebrating a feast day called the Chair of St. Peter the Apostle. I'm sure many people who hear that for the first time think that we Catholics are pretty odd for celebrating a chair. Actually, we're not honoring a piece of furniture. We're celebrating a feast in honor of the authority that Jesus gave to St. Peter, an authority that's symbolized by the bishop's chair. Every bishop has a special chair from which he presides when he is in his home church, and that chair is called the cathedra, which comes from both the Latin and Greek words for seat or chair. And that's why a bishop's church is called a cathedral. It's where his cathedra is located. And today, we're celebrating St. Peter's Cathedra and what it represents, his special authority to teach and to lead the church. Since Jesus told Peter that he was the rock on which he would build the church and that the powers of hell would never prevail against it, we can trust that the Pope will not lead us astray. When the Bishop of Rome, the Pope, the successor to St. Peter, speaks from his chair, he is speaking with the assurance that Jesus gave St. Peter. This is called speaking ex cathedra, or from the chair, and we trust that when the Pope speaks in this way, he's speaking with not mere human authority, but divine. It's divine because it was guaranteed by the Son of God himself, who chose Peter and gave him this authority. In a relativistic world where people say, there is no truth, you have yours and I have mine, isn't it good to know and to celebrate a chair that cannot be moved by trends and fashions?